Hey, what is up everyone? Gamer Live Studio here, back at it with another gaming guy video. And today we are back for some Starfield, but I know you guys are having a wee bit of problems with the whole Shatter Space DLC that are constantly giving you guys crashing, performance issues, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And I know you're probably tearing out your hair. You're like, what the hell is going on? Why is it keep on doing this? And you want to just bang on your table, you know, fling the controller across the room because you just want to play the Shatter Space DLC and enjoy your time. But don't worry, I'm here. And I'm here to help you guys to fix that problem. So I'm going to be breaking it down into three separate parts. And hopefully by the end of this video, it's going to help you guys out. So without further ado, let's get started with the video itself. All right, now you are currently seeing my desktop. You see my mouse cursor i am currently running windows 11 home this might be somewhat should be similar to windows 10 so you should not see that much of a difference you should be able to follow along with me but if you have any problem just let me know in the comment section down below but hopefully in this tutorial video i'm going to try to help troubleshoot some of the crashes issues that might come up or startups or whatever the case may be i'm going to try my best to make sure i cover everything that i possibly can and we're going to break it down each and every part so first we're going to optimize our windows and the computer itself then we can go into the game like in terms of like you know the location you know our clients which is either xbox game pass or steam which you both see down below and then after that we're gonna go into the game and go into the creation mods and i will show you a whole bunch of stuff what you need to do and make sure to be aware of so then that way it will kind of prevent anything from like you know crashes to performance issues and stuff like that and some of the steps which you can do to relieve some of the the problems that you might be having so um again you know it's going to be pretty much a lengthy tutorial but hopefully this will help you guys out so and also one other thing too so i don't forget i will be mentioning xbox as well in a certain section mainly probably going to be inside of the creation mods or better yet when we get to the part where you if you have to uninstall which we are i'm going to show you in this video as well to uninstall it if so probably on console you should just uninstall starfield as well and then reinstall starfield on the console itself when we get to that part i'll let you know if it's something important for console players even though i may not have an xbox but this is probably going to help you out as well and as well as the creation part when we get there i'll let you guys know so without further ado let's get started with the video itself okay the first thing we should do is make sure that our windows is up to date so make sure you check for your windows that is up to date and you know how to get there if it's going to be where settings is right it's probably going to have something that looks like this and then it should say it right here it's going to say windows update you click on it and it should take you here and we're going to make sure we check for updates so let it do its thing making sure that the updates are updating anything that you miss let it do its thing and uh once that's finished doing it which we already checked last time we checked so it's good everything is up to date and just to make something clear that if you do see anything like this where if it says preview a beta an alpha or an insight whatever i don't care whatever it is if you see this do not install this update okay do not it will lead to your computer to run into crashes blue screen of death black screen of death it's going to be a whole bunch of problems probably bugs and issues i had this problem before 
and I had to uninstall this update. Now, if you don't know how to do that, there is YouTube videos on how to uninstall a Windows update. There's plenty of videos out there to show you, but I'm pretty sure that it should be under here where it says update in history. And then it says quality updates. If you do see a preview, whatever, make sure you know you uninstall that update, okay? Or it says right here, update uninstaller. You could go down here and uninstall whatever updates. And again, if you need a video to show you how to do it, there's plenty of YouTube videos that will show you how to do those kind of stuff. But I'm just letting you know as a warning to anybody, whether you're coming into PC for the first time or you've been around for a while and you probably didn't know this, just to give you a heads up, most likely that causes a lot of crashes, stuttering, anything. If you open up a program and then it crash, most likely it could be this is the main cause of it of this so please do not install this at all click the x button you're good when you have an official update when the official updates it will automatically start downloading because those are official anything that says like preview i don't care if it's a beta an alpha or an insider whatever beta alpha preview do not install any of those type of things right don't do it it's not worth it you don't want your computer to be crashing having blue screen of death and so on and so forth so once that's done then you can go down to here to the gaming thing right here in the settings go right here where it says game mode optimize for your pc play click on that make sure that this right here is turned on so then anything in the background it will turn off automatically so if when a game pops up whether you're running an administrator or you're running it or just clicking on it it should able to turn off a lot of things in the background this helps for me maybe for a lot of other people it may not if it doesn't help for you you could just turn it off it won't be a big problem a big deal also we can go in here right and if you have starfield installed right we can go right here and then you can go to options and then you can go right here what you know what do you prefer for graphics performance you know let Wimble des decide you could do power saving if you want to save on power you could do high power so i'm going to put down right here high power performance and i got my graphics card right here that's what i want click save and you should be all set and again you could do that for whatever game that you have download which i have this for forza rise of five i did um i could even do this for even tekken 8 as well or any other game that i want to install if you don't see it on here you can also find it as well you should able to find it and you can also do it for apps as well so um i think for example if i want it i think it was the warhammer 40k right here so if i want to have an options i just need to go find where i have it installed or better yet near let's do that makes it a little bit more easier i know where that is so i click on here i go to my steam and library right steam and apps go to common and then we got near autonoma and then we want the near application right this specific app is already added so just in case if you can't find it it's going to be here so if you need to find it just find the exe one and then once you find it you click on it and then you could choose which one you want i want it for high performance click save and then that's it done so now we got this in high performance i could do this for applications as well so which is good okay after that once we did all that now we can go back to system and then we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to go to about and then we're going to click on advanced system settings which is right here which is going to bring up this screen now if you want another way to get to this you can even go to the control panel settings so if you can't find the control panel you could type this in you know right here which is control panel right here 
and then you know click on it right and then go to system and security and then go to system right then go to system and it's going to take us here and then you just go to advance sometimes it's probably going to do it in windows 10 it's probably going to pop up that and then you just click on advance and then you should be able to get to this window okay so once we are at this window right and we already have it highlighted which we'll is go to under advanced tab and then it's going to say performance and then we're going to go to settings now right here it says visual effects right you have all of these options if you just want full performance just click on this click apply and okay you're good if you want to customize it a little bit you still want little nice things like save taskbar preview menu so like if i put if i look at this you can see like a little preview menu if you don't want that you can uncheck it apply and save apply and okay and then you can reset the computer and then it won't do it anymore so i'm just saying if you do want a little bit of nice things then check the ones that you want if you don't then that's okay so again it's totally up to you how you want to choose it but the more these like cut off the better and how smooth the performance is it makes the computer run so much better and much more easier and clean so again it's up to you and your personal preference so once that's done just click apply and okay and then go to advance make sure that if it is set to this right here it says background services go make sure you click on here for programs you don't have to touch this for virtual memory don't touch this this is fine and then once that's done click apply and okay and that is it and you're done okay so once that's done we can exit this out and now we can go to open up our graphics drivers you know which is the clients whether you you have nvidia or amd which for me i got amd so usually if you left click it you have i have this one right here yours should be nvidia or the geforce experience or the app whatever which one and if you can't find it on here then you can just literally go to search it or you can find it through the all apps and you can scroll down which you can see i already got mine but nvidia should be in a folder or it's going to say nvidia is going to say nvidia app or experience you can open up from there which i'm going to do right now i'm going to open up mine right here right so once we open this up doesn't matter if it's amd or nvidia usually it should have something that where it says check for updates click on it make sure you check for it and if it's all good then you're fine if not just make sure you install the latest update for your graphics card driver you should constantly keep an eye on this in every couple of weeks so like two to three weeks you know come back in here check on it or every time like at the end of the week or on the weekend like if you know like you're pretty much planning on gaming doesn't hurt to come in here and check it real quick and see hey my graphics card is up to date everything is good i can go and play my game and stuff like that and that's all set um also as a pro tip no matter if you are on nvidia or even on amd just make sure that you know your graphic settings right here or wherever your graphic settings are make sure all of this is on default um again there could be some problems or issues that you might be having that the you know the game that you're launching which is starfield and in that game's like display options there might be some conflicting stuff with the uh, either the adrenaline one or an nvidia one you might have this on and this is off on on the gaming side of things or inside of your game display drivers inside of the game this could be on out here so there might lead to confliction could lead to some like wonkiness or crashes and stuff like that so i highly recommend you know if you're going to plan on you know toggling these on i suggest do everything in the game first 
and then come out here if you want to try something on like toggle one or two try it out make sure it doesn't crash on you while you're playing and if it's fine and it works well and you know what it does and if you don't know any of these what these do you there's plenty of youtube videos that you can look it up for yourself and it will tell you this is what it does this is what it can do so i'm just saying if you want to mess around with this that's fine but if you want to make sure that it's well optimized when you go and play starfield or any other game and you don't want it to crash and fail make sure that this is on default and everything mostly turn off and if you want to turn something on in the game itself like starfield when i start up the game you go into the display settings and if i want certain things to be on i want this to be on just do it in there rather than doing it out here in the adrenaline client or even in the nvidia client so that's my pro tip okay so make sure just make sure you leave all this stuff on default and if you want to turn you know try something out and then turn play the game to test it out to make sure it works do that as well so that's my pro tip right there uh, so make sure that graphics everything is on default um also let's just say for example let's say if the adrenaline or your nvidia drivers did not work like it absolutely does not work like this doesn't turn on it comes with an error or something like that then the next step you you should probably do is to just do a clean install driver which is really easy to do because there's this right here which is display driver uninstaller aka ddu uh, so if you download this and you know follow the steps pretty much you can have a clean install it will get rid of all of the old drivers and everything else and then you just go back on the website download the drivers reinstall it again follow the steps and you should be fine and again there is youtube videos for this like ddu tutorial and you can go on here scroll down and you can find whatever you need um, there's plenty of videos here that will give you step by step so pick the one that you find comfortable with that's easy to explain and you understand just follow the video you can actually use your phone for this and just do what you need to do and you should be all set and then once everything's done and done correctly then you have nice fresh clean install and pretty much this should able to work again so then when you open it up it works you don't see no errors you don't see no crashes that means that everything works well and just double check this everything works then you're okay um, another thing that you can also do as a little bit of a 10 percent boost in performance um, usually this is on the adrenaline but i believe nvidia have this feature um, as well which is resizable bar or even smart access memory i think smart access memory is for um amd only but even resizable bar uh, which i have mines already set for resizable bar which will give me i i believe it should able to give me a uh, smart access memory if anything so right here is smart technology and i think yeah unsupported so i'm gonna have to probably turn this back on but which is fine so i'm gonna basically no actually no it's right here smart access memory performance so which is fine so it's right here this is something else so yeah smart access memory this is already turned on so if you want to have this or resizable bar which it gives you like an extra 10 percent of performance for nvidia there should be videos for that as well so i already have mines on it's pretty easy to do so like again if you're unsure there it is resizable bar for nvidia if you want to turn on resizable bar for amd just put in amd and there should be videos right here that should able to give you a tutorial how to do it right here um pendulum great um he does i watch his videos and he'll show you step by step and explain and you know show you how to do it it's very easy and again it gives you 10 percent more fps in your gaming and stuff like that it's just better overall performance so just letting you know so there's that and next we should go and make sure we check for our windows store updates now again um 
this may not go apply for people that are playing on steam because steam does his own updates and his own client automatically but however if you are playing on xbox or you own an xbox game it's going to play through the windows store and stuff so click on here and it doesn't hurt to come on here as well because most likely you're going to have a windows account and stuff like that if you want to download an app or you want to download any other things right here right or game pass so when you click on here you're going to have the windows store you go to your libraries or any location and it's going to say it right here and where it just says get update click on that and then once everything is up to date then you should be all good but again it's good to come in here anyway regardless because not only is just the windows store but you know like the game bar right your windows cameras all this stuff most likely is going to get updated through the windows store and it's not going to be updated through um the actual updates right here this update will update the os itself and it may it, but it's not going to update like individual apps like you know like again like photos videos the calculator whatever whatever it is app installers all this stuff is only going to update it through the windows store apps so come in here update your stuff make sure that is all good so then it doesn't lead into like problems or crashes or stuff like that so it's good to come in here um, regardless so make sure you check for those updates as well once that's done is downloaded you should be all set and then you can exit it out and next we're going to use the run command so the run command usually is if you go down here to the start you left uh, right click and then you're going to see run you can also search it up as well it's going to say run so once you click on it put it right here the first one we're going to do is going to use m s config but it's all lowercase so m s con c o n con fig f i g so m s c o n f i g config so m s config type it in just like that all lowercase click OK so it's gonna take you into this menu don't worry about this just go to boot right when you go to boot it's gonna go say advanced options you click on advanced options and then you go right here right here this is gonna say the number of processors okay yours might say one it might say you know whatever it's gonna say a certain amount so let's just say for example it, yours might go all the way down to eight some people go all the way down to 16 and my goes all the way down to 24. so whatever it is that you have select the highest number that you got which is going to unlock all the cores in your cpu to have it to run so which is good and once you select that right because i already did it and i'm not going to do it but once you select that then click ok right and then once you click ok and then you click OK, right? It's going to tell you that um, that is going to take effect. So you have to restart, you know, restart the computer immediately. So restart the computer, let it restart itself. So then that way it will take effect and then come back here and then you should be all set. And then all the cores should unlock. And if you want to check on that, right? You go down here to the start, you right click and then you go to task manager and then once the task manager is open go to performance and go to cpu and it should say it right here see how it says 24 it should say 24 so it's going to say the cores 24 so it should say it should open up all of it all of it up and if you want to make sure that it does take effect, if you don't see it on here, then you could just go back to run and then, you know, type it in again, which is again, MS config. So we're going to go back on there again, go on to boot, go to advance, 
and then it should say it should check off this box and it should say the number right here so if you see the highest number then you should be all set so that's how you know it's working so once that's done you can also click on run too because if you want to get rid of like temp files and stuff like that um i believe there's two of two temp places that you can get rid of i think it's t-e-m-p let me just double check that it's... okay yep so let me just type it in again so you go down here right or look click and then you say run and then we go right here and then you go type in t-e-m-p-s i think it's s no it's T E T E M P. So is this right here? And then it's gonna it's gonna give you like a little security thing. Click OK, yes. And then it's right here. And then all you have to do, we're gonna highlight it and we're going to delete. We're just gonna go put it in our recycling bin right here. And we're gonna do it for another thing too, but it's a little bit different, but same way. So we're gonna click on run. We're gonna click on over here but this time we're going to put the percent so we're going to put we're gonna click the percent sign right here and then we're gonna put temp and then we're gonna close it out with the percent sign so once you have this like this you click ok right and then it's gonna give you all of this stuff right here and we want to get rid of it all this files and then we're going to click trash now again some may not close the reason why is probably because i probably are running like obs other things that are running in the background that's why it's not going to delete it don't worry about it all you have to do is just do this to all and just skip if it does acts again just make sure you do that to all and skip so there's that left which is fine it's not a big deal and then once we're done with that we got our recycling bin up here you know right click it and then it's going to say empty recycling bin empty recycling bin boom clear out all that junk everything so if you haven't done it in a while it's good to do that to kind of clean out your system get rid of like junk anything that bogs down your computer is a good way to kind of spring clean your stuff to make sure it's running in tip top shape okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change our power set uh, power settings options so the power supply we're going to change it into high performance so the way we can get there is by searching it and you can go to right here choose power option plan or you can go through the control panel as well so if you want to search it it's going to take you there if you want to go here so i'm going to show both ways so i'm going to go through control panel right we're going to go system and security and then it's going to tell you power options right you can go through that way or like again you can go through here you can search it up and just type in power options power editor power options boom oops my bad didn't mean to do it that way or you could just do it right here so it should be able to take you right here so i didn't know so it's going to take you right here boom and then we're going to basically is going to say choose or customize a power plan so normally i have a you know amd it might say it might you might not have amd if you have you know intel it might say something else but if it doesn't it should say high performance even just putting on this high performance is good enough just click on it and you should be good to go but since i have amd boom i'm going to put it on high performance it's running on high performance now another thing too is if you go click on change plan settings this is just a little bit of a side tip uh, for a lot of people out there especially if you do have usbs are plugging in or you have a controller plugged in your headset plugged in and let's say like over time like your usb that's plugged in on the back of the computer kind of got disconnected or it's not really reconnecting you have to unplug it and then you got to replug it in i know that's kind of annoying so to change that option all you have to do is just again go to your the power plant settings that you have selected go to change and advanced power settings once this box comes up go down to here where it says usb right 
and then once it says go down to here this is going to say enable right and what it does is it's gonna it says it right here usb select the suspended settings so basically any usb that are plugged into the computer is going you know selectively some of those are going to be you know suspended so it's not going to work or reconnect or whatever certain amount of period of time or whatever and if you don't want that you want to make sure that anything that i plugged into the computer is going to constantly work all the time then you could just change this to disable that so make sure it's disabled so that means like if you have your microphone right you have your headset you have your controller your xbox controller whatever you're plugging it through the usb and you don't want it to suspend it just make sure you set this to disable and you click apply click ok and then that's it you're done okay next we're gonna go to our task manager we're gonna click on that and then we're gonna go down here it's going to say startup apps and right here we want to disable as much startup as we possibly can because if you have all of these enabled right and let's say next time you reset the computer you start it back up all of this stuff is going to be running like you know and pretty much going to bog down your computer really really bad because you don't want things to be running in the background like if you was to play for example you was to open up starfield right but then you got like all of these other things that are running in the background taking away the resources taking away the you know like the focus you know that should be like your graphics card and the cpu should be focusing on starfield then trying to focus on like again uh you know like uh microsoft edge you know right browser uh focusing on you know xbox you know right or uh pc manager or whatever right you don't want all of your resources and your power and to be focusing on all, all of these tasks and again it's going to bog down your computer is going to run really really slow on the boot up so i highly recommend mostly if you have a lot of startups disable as much as you can some i keep it on like this one right here which is live library wallpaper which you see the wallpaper in the background i keep that on because you know it doesn't take that much whatever but if it does then make sure you just turn it off and then turn it on when you need to like if you're chilling out um you know you're watching a youtube video or something like that you know if you want to have it on you can just turn it on but disabling this um doesn't mean like you're uninstalling it it just basically means that is not going to run on startup so let's say for example like right here does razor synapse right even though i got a razor headset and i turn it on and i'm using it but the mic is not going to work and most likely the headset i can't hear it because this program is not starting up to recognize that my headset is on and is working it may not work so i need to turn this on so all I have to do is just go down here where it says Razor Synapse. I could just turn it on, right? Have it boot up. And then once it boot up, I could exit it out. And then I could use my headset that I can use for whatever. If I'm playing a game, Starfield, whatever is going to work now because I already turn it on manually, you know, right? Like if I wanted to turn on, let's say, um, let's say xbox i want to turn that on manually i don't want xbox you know game pass or whatever the app to turn on i could just turn this on manually if i want to so it will turn on so you could do things like that so i disable as much of the stuff as possibly as you can like disable whatever you can if you can disable all of it you know if you're not really using it but just remember that if you do have some sort of microphone or something connected to it right it may not work unless you start up the app so just letting you know as a fair warning just like how amd noise suppression is not going to work unless i start up the app turn it on and it should able to work right or i could just turn it on in here right and click on enable and it will enable amd noise suppression if i wanted to right i can do that so 
again the choice is up to you but i will recommend disable as much of it as you can and unnecessary things that you don't really need on um also another thing too is if you have a lot of apps installed um it's good it's the best way to get rid of a lot of the apps that are installed onto your computer now there's two ways of going about this you can download a program right here which is called um what is it called revo uninstaller be very careful with this you don't want to uninstall things that you intentionally don't want to uninstall i'm just letting you know um so this is just giving you a premium but there's the free version that's all you really need is the free version and it's free and i can go in here and install whatever i want right i can go by name i can go by company right there's window apps like they have a whole list be careful what you uninstall on the windows apps be very careful because if you uninstall it then you're gonna have to go back onto the windows store and try to reinstall it reinstall it again like again if you are using obs right i'm using obs i don't want to uninstall the windows camera because if i uninstall that that means if in the future if i want to use a webcam it ain't gonna work because i will need the microsoft camera so i need to reinstall that program again inside of my thing so i'm just letting you know be very careful what you need to uninstall but you can uninstall stuff that are useless like again cortana for example i uninstall it do i really need it no or like this one right here um dev home is for devs am i'm a dev no so i can just uninstall it if i need to you get what i'm saying it's those things that if you read it if it's not useful just uninstall it right or like phone link do i need this no do i link up my phone to my computer no i if i needed to use or transfer files or anything i use a wire to the to the usb so i'm okay so i don't need the phone link i can just uninstall it right so i'm just giving you as an example but if you go right here to uninstaller so anything programs that you have installed that you're not really using um, again i don't uninstall these because these are for the obs that i'm using and these using like effects and stuff like that i don't install any of those programs i keep those on um like again just go through stuff that you don't really need so if you download this program um it will basically uninstall stuff so let me give you a perfect example right let's say for example let's go to here right let's go to this one dev home right i don't really need it i don't really care so i'll have to do this is just for example if you have it the underneath the uninstaller but let's just say to uninstall this i'm going to click on install right it's going to say continue is going to create a system restore point which is fine and then it's going to just do its thing right scan so right here is going to delete all the files and folders and stuff like that on here so select all and then just click right here delete we want to delete it yes and that's it it's done some is going to take a bit longer some will be just really quick very easy and it's done i got it uninstalled so there's that program you can install and download for yourself you can get the free version it should be on their website um also you can just do it the the other way as well which you don't want to install the program um if you don't want to install any programs on your stuff but you just want to install stuff that is right now you can just go right here to control panel right and then when you go into control panel, it's going to say right here, programs, uninstall programs. You click on that and then you can go down the list right here of things that you want to uninstall or that you're not using, you know, right, you know, click right here, uninstall. You could do it that way as well. Um, the last way you can also do is through the window settings. So if you go to right here, where it says settings and it should be under apps right and it's going to say right here install apps and you can actually uninstall stuff through here as well um i will say be very careful don't uninstall games through here i will recommend and uninstalling the game through the client itself 
that's much more easier and the best way to do it so just install the games on there but any programs you can just uninstall it here like if i don't want this media player no more you just go right here and then you could just click on uninstall and that's it all right last but not least as a bit of a bonus um you can install this program as well this is very very helpful for me um, especially again if there's like too many menus to kind of go through and stuff like that um there's actually a program into the windows store right here uh, which i do have installed right here and it's also made by microsoft and the windows team which is called right here which is microsoft pc manager which is made by microsoft so if you install that onto your computer which is pretty much is like an essential shortcut through stuff that you want to do and also it does other things as well again um, i'm just going to go over it quickly but there's youtube videos and stuff like that out there so if you want to know more about this program and how it works and all this stuff you can go on there and look at those videos but real quickly um again there's things that you can do like again look you can uh temporary files you could complete if you want to boost so it's going to check it you can just click on it it does this thing right it's going to get rid of all the temp files boost up performance right um you could go here you could say um like you know process like you know what's in the process right now what do you want to end um let's say right here um this is in the process right now which is microsoft edge if i don't want that to run i can just click right here to end that task so bam so you know like before you start playing like a starfield game or something if you got resources that are currently running right now in the background that is useless like again look the phone link do i really need it no i don't need it on so i can go click it and you know end that task right now right and there's certain things i want to keep on like the again amd software host application i'll keep that on because again that's related to my graphics card driver that's related to whatever if it has nvidia it's the same thing you want to keep those things on right do i really need the widget stuff no i don't need widgets right i'm you know only widget is this do i really need it no i can just end the task right here you know freeing up that resources right even if this one has zero, I'm going to just end the task because I'm not even using it. This is for my video editor. And, and I have three things running and that's it. You can do it like that. Again, you can also go in here for startup. This may not have everything for startup. So I still recommend going through the task manager to really see all of the startups and stuff and click things off. This one might give you like a handful so you can have this on and off, but everything is off right now so there's that you can also go in here to uninstall apps as well you can do that so if you don't want to go through the windows settings um, to get there you can go through here too you can uninstall apps as well it's going to have it right here that some is not going to be highlighted because that's important and some that are highlighted that is no need so if i don't need this anymore i can just click it right here to uninstall it so there's that right and then this will take you to the windows store and you know right you got your toolbox right here you got screenshot um screenshot folders there's recording uh captions notepad calculator so there's some stuff that you can use in here as well um, as well as again protection so if you go right here right and you can scan for viruses if you want you could do a windows update check on here on as well you could do that as well you can taskbar repair it will repair it kind of reset the settings of the taskbar i don't recommend doing it if you have the taskbar set to your likings um so yeah there's some stuff in here and again even for storage too so like again if you want to do a deep clean in your c drive right here so basically you know your c drive will get checked if you want to you know again if you find like delete duplicate files you can scan it and go through it to make sure that whatever files and stuff like that um, you could clean up large files um, manage download files you can review that to free up space so there's some things you can definitely do here to really like clean up a bunch of stuff so like again uh, large files right it will scan through there right you know i can click each individual if i got pictures i can delete them right 
or again i can go find it through a file location like if i say open folder it's going to take me to the folder where is it located at and i can delete stuff or take stuff out or whatever you know what i'm saying so it's not bad you know you is a great way to use it like again music if i have music somewhere i want to see where is it located at i can find it you know see if i saved it or not whatever and so it's a good it's a good application to have uh, very very good so you could definitely use that as well um, you can also use it for other drives as well like your c drive e drive f drive for large files and stuff like that duplicate files stuff um so yeah that's it's pretty cool it's really nice so this is something that if you are interested um to maintain a computer go around do a bunch of stuff very easy to do i highly recommend this i use it all the time it's very simple very easy to use and once again again there's youtube videos if you want to know more about this program right here for pc manager there's plenty of videos out there that you can get more information or more tutorials on what you need to do or how to do stuff all right so now let's move on to the second phase of this which is the game and the client so this is the part where we want to either figure out if we have to uninstall the game right or we are going to have to verify the game and stuff like that so i'm going to show you both ways currently i'm playing it on game pass but i will show you in steam as well as an example so first thing first is let's go with the steam um the game pass version that i have right here right you can do this for any of these games that you have installed or even own so if you own a game you can do this as well through here so right now we're gonna have starfield that's our main focus right so we're going to right click on it and we're going to go to manage right and then once we go to manage we're going to go to files and then we're going to verify and repair click on that to verify and repair so we're going to do that so once we verify it and repaired it then you should be all set right so once we got that and let's do it for steam let's say you do have the steam version which i do have starfield the steam version as well but i'm just going to use another game an example like if this was starfield right we going if you have it installed all you have to do is just going to right click it we're going to go to i believe is properties and then when you go through properties it's going to have an option that is going to be somewhere around here which it says install files right it's going to have this option menu right here and then you could go down here it says verify integra game click on that let it do its thing and once it's all done then you should be all set you know try to reset the computer start it back up and you should be good to go right so there's that um, another way you can also do this as well this probably doesn't work for steam this is only strictly for uh, windows games like game pass and games apps and stuff like that you can also go do this in the settings as well so if you go into the settings where the apps where we was and it's going to say um, installed apps right and then we can scroll down and we can also click on the game as well through here um, but we have a little bit more options so if we go right here it's going to have these little dots and then it should have an options that says advanced options you click on that right and then right here it's going to have three things right here so it's going to tell you to terminate it right so it will terminate the the program or anything running in the background and again you could do it in here or you can do it even in the task manager as well just for example right if i wanted to and the xbox live you know application right all i have to do is just right click it 
and then it's going to say it right here end task and then it can end the task or you can just do it in here as well if it does highlight for you it should able to do it in here but that's basically it will terminate it right then once that's done you could just click on repair and then after that you could just click on reset and then just restart the computer turn it back on it should able to work just fine again if you want to do it that way or you could try it this and then try to turn it back on if it works then you should be fine so there's that also another tip too just in case if it's not the game itself it could be whether it is the windows store as well as the xbox app itself like this right here the xbox live right or i believe there's one more which is the xbox game service you can do this for all three so you could just go in here right terminate it repair it reset it that can help as well so you know if you want to fix any crashes issues or something like that or something going wrong there's error you could do it that way as well and i believe you should able to do it through here too yep so yeah so you should able to do it through here as well and you should do it for that and also for this one here xbox live you should able to do that yes um also you should able to do it through um do it to the windows store as well just in case that the windows store is acting up it's kind of buggy a little messy something happens or it's not communicating or whatever or has some issues you could even do it through the windows store um it should be somewhere i think i either passed it or something hmm it's not here then it's not here it should be able to be here i think there should be a window store i could be mistaken but if you do find the window store it should be able to do the same thing too so yeah so just in case if that do happens let me just double check right here let me just type it in uh nope okay so they probably took it out yeah so they probably took it out but before you used to have the window store in here and you could do it through that way and stuff like that too so should not be an issue but okay so yeah so there's that way you can do right and then just start up starfield see if it works play the game hopefully it should not crash or have any problems or performance issues now if all else failed right if all else failed I will suggest just doing a clean um, install of the game. So if it's on Game Pass, right, I suggest do it on the client for it. I know you could do it into the Windows settings, but you should just really just uninstall it onto the client itself, right? Go right here, uninstall. You can even go to manage and uninstall the game as well. And then just reinstall the game. And also as a pro tip if you are going to reinstall the game right please make sure you save it in a location that has a fast ssd a lot of people that are noobs to this when they come into pc gaming uh, a lot of times they have this problem right this issue so let me just show you this real quick right a lot of people have this issue where a lot of times like they may install it into here to your boot drive and or they save it onto their hard drive by mistake you know please make sure that the location that you're going to save it is going to be where you're going to have your fast whatever whether it's a fast ssd like this one right here which i renamed it and it's ssd so i want to install my games onto here i can do that or your nvme or your m.2 drives i want to install all my games on there on steam you know game pass or whatever make sure that the location that you are installing these games is at the right location for it you know what i'm saying so like again if you're unsure you can always uh change the drives for it right and if you don't 
see it here then you can add you know whatever choose a folder for your games on the g drive you know you could change it you can add to it or whatever so if you already see the one that you have then you should be all set so i'm just letting you know that you can change it just make sure it's at the correct drive if all else fails i say just uninstall it reinstall it restart the computer then you should be all set and try to play starfield right so there's that um and again uh just like how steam right you know again just go right here you can go to manage uninstall the game so if it's starfield just go through here uninstall the game and then that's it uninstall it reinstall it make sure it is the drive that you're planning on saving if you don't know what it is or how to uh, whatever it should be under steam go to settings you go to storage and then you can go right here and then you can click one or you can add one to make sure that hey this is the drive i want to install in this is the one i have highlighted boom this is the one i want to install then it's going to install in that location and you can even see the two games that i have installed right so there's that so make sure it is installed in the right location in a fast ssd or nvme drive do not install it into your c drive do not install it into your hard drive if you have a hard drive do not install it there it's just going to run really slow and it's going to bog down the game it's going to end up a lot of problems and issues and crashes especially when you start adding mods on top of it so i highly recommend making sure you're installing it in the right drive correctly just letting you know so once you do all that right and now to speak from a perspective of any mods right so let's say you have mods in a directory folder right um just speaking towards like people that are putting mods in the directory folder not using mod organizer if you're using mod organizer or vortex like if you're using those then you should be perfectly fine because it doesn't affect the actual game itself that you have installed so like starfield won't be affected by the mod organizer because the mods are going to be installed in a separate location and then they're going to redirect into this location but if a mod is broken on mod organizer you can still open up this game and it should not able to crash because no mods are are installed directly into this folder so i'm just letting you know if you are using that in vortex and it's broken and the mods are not up to date or the script ascender is not up to date then you're gonna have to play the vanilla version until those mods get up to date then you'll be able to play it with mods if those mods are you know even though script ascender is up to date right and let's say other mods that are not up to date yet it most likely will cause crashes and other issues so i suggest do not use the mod for quite a while for maybe a couple of weeks or so like i will highly recommend that not using it for a couple of weeks and um just play it the vanilla way and then a couple of weeks later check out the mods make sure the list is all up to date and then once it's all up to date then you can play with the mods with starfield and should able to run perfectly fine so just in case as a pro tip um for again for the mod directory let's say you're not using mod organizer or vortex you're dragging and dropping mods into the directory like like the steam library um in inside of steam in the steam folders which i'm gonna show you which is right here this is my steam library go right here go to steam apps go to common right i'm just throwing it as an example let's just say this was starfield so you click in here if you put in mods in here in this directory and you start up the game most likely it will end up being crashed because those are old outdated mods even if you replace it the script extender there might be other mods underneath that that didn't get the update and might cause this crashes and issues so if you have this type of problem i will recommend just uninstalling the game and do a clean install okay and then just play the vanilla way for a while and then keep track of all of the updated mods that you need to get when you get those mods and you want to put it back in here and you can do so and i suggest 
doing little by little a couple at a time and then if it works and it runs great it runs fine then you're fine if there's one mod that keeps constantly crashing then you know what it is then you can just take it out and then you can just you know don't use that mod until it's up to date so i'm just letting you know that's my highly recommendation what you should be doing so i'm just letting you know Okay, last but not least, we are going to be going in the game and we're going to go through the creation mods. Now, this one you have to pay attention to, especially for the Xbox. Like again, for Xbox, you can uninstall the game, reinstall the game again, download the um, Starfield Shatter Space DLC again. Once you got those done out the way, then this part right here is going to be for you as well. For anyone that's playing on the console and for people that are playing on the pc as well that is using the creation mods um also if you are using mods from nexus and creation mods don't do that because most likely it's probably going to end up being corrupt it might cause this crash is an issue so if you are using nexus mods use nexus mods if you're not using nexus mods then use the creation mods only okay so whatever place that you're playing no matter if it's game pass if you're playing it on steam just make sure you have the mod locations or whatever you're getting your mods at use that don't try to conflict between the creation mods and nexus mods it might cause us issues and crashes as well so just letting you guys know so right now we're going to start off starfield and we're going to run this as an administrator which is another tip right here you could run this as administrator and we're going to click on yes and this will basically going to um make sure it runs on the highest um priority when it's running on administrator and also another tip too you can go down here right and go to task manager and we're going to save this for a minute we're going to have this pop up once this window gets into our game so this is going to take a minute it's going to take a bit of time let it do its thing it's normal this happens for me it's going to happen for you as well it's probably going to take about like a minute or 50 seconds or so so it all depends on what computer you have but just let it do its thing and we're going to sit here and wait for this. And while this is waiting, I'm going to get my controller ready for this so I can navigate through the window settings. Or better yet, navigate through the creation settings. So yeah, this part is very important because I know that a lot of people may not not notice this or may miss this. Um, but i found this out like i think it was only like a couple of days um only like maybe a day a day and a half into this um that i noticed like oh okay so this is seems to be the problem and issue why probably a lot of people have these issues of crashing all the time constantly you know what i'm saying so before we get into the creation club let's go go on your uh keyboard it's gonna go on your win key click on that it's gonna pop up this once this pop up go right down here to that task manager that we have pulled up so if you are going to run this game like once you do the creation club and stuff like that and you're going to jump back into this game as a pro tip when you're ready to start this game right click right here where it says it's gonna say in process, it's gonna say right here in, in uh, Starfield. You click on this and you click right here and then it's going to go to details. You go to details and it's gonna highlight this right here. Then you're gonna right click it again and it's gonna say set priority, set priority to high or you can set it on real time. I'm going to set this on real time, right? And then save changes, which is fine and that is it also 
before you close this out if you want to go back to process right and if you want to look for anything that is running in the background that you do not need you can close that out right now like again i'm not using um pc manager i can just end the task right here and this task right here right i can go down here right i'm not using the steam version i'm not using steam so i might as well just highlight it make sure you highlight it don't click the wrong one to end the task and then just end the task and then once it does that it close out all that stuff freeing up a lot of like again a lot of resources and stuff like that a lot of things that are being processed just be very careful again i'm using the xbox version which is the gamepad version i'm not going to click this off because if i do end this task is going to also end starfield so again i'm not going to do that i'm just clicking you know going through here a little bit real quick things that are just unnecessary like right the gaming service that's important we need that am i'm using this one galaxy software updates no so i'm just going to end the task it just frees up freaking up you know again resources background processes is going to free some of that up so like again just be very careful don't do for amd leave that on anything windows or microsoft related leave those alone don't do anything with that just certain names that you already know like the typical suspects um that you know like oh yeah this i, I don't need this so it doesn't hurt to come in here to just delete like certain little things that are just running um that you do not need just end the task and then once that's done then you can just exit this out and then it's going to make sure that all the the graphics the performance the cpu is going to be focusing on starfield and it's going to run that performance 100 percent so now since we're in the starfield menu we're going to click start so again this point and this part right here right before you start anything before you play a game like continue or new game or load a game you go down here to creations first that's number one and do this all the time okay it's a one-time thing okay but make sure you do this on the daily you never know because the creation and some of these modders could be updating it constantly like every single day they might have a new update they might have this they might have that so we're going to go into the creations first before we start playing the game okay you go in here first okay pay attention so once we go in here right we're gonna go into our load order right yours is going to be different than than whatever but this is important right here so the first thing you need to make sure you definitely should have is these three right here first thing on the top which is the unofficial starfield patch that's number one so if you don't have that get that install it and you can see the author is right here so you can find it and you can search for it so make sure you have it installed and bookmark right and then the second thing which is the same offer the same author um that you know made this uh the the unofficial starfield patch he also did the unofficial shatter space patch so this is for the dlc that dropped not that long ago he made basically another another one of these so you can just find it make sure you install it and the low order goes as follows the unofficial starfield patch then after that you make sure you put this right up here which is the unofficial shatter space patch then after that finally but last but not least make sure you download and find the starfield community patch put that as well so these are the main three things that you definitely need in your low order then everything else if you want to install whatever mods after that that is perfectly fine right but make sure you have these three orders so if you see it all the way at the bottom right just make sure you go click the i think it's the lb button so the left bumper make sure you click on it and make sure you move it in the right spot so make sure the unofficial shatter space patch is right underneath 
the unofficial starfield patch so it'll be put right here so once you have those three in order and then whatever mods after that make sure you have whatever mods is in in the right place in the right order that you want take your time don't rush through it make sure if you see mods that are disappeared or they're gone or something that may not work or may cause an issue just you know make sure you click it off of here to make sure if you know like this may cause an issue for me or just do a few mods at a time just to check you can do that as well but make sure you just put it in the right order first and once you put it in the right order go through each one and say oh this mod disappeared or it's not working anymore or you see it blank then you could just you know kind of delete it and then uncheck it and then just delete it or you can just say this mod may cause an issue for me but let me just uncheck it just to make sure if i'm going to run the game hopefully it doesn't crash on me you get what i'm saying so just take your time in this part go through it whatever you need to do um you know if you have to put little mods at a time like turn stuff on little by little you could do that as well but these are the mods that i have in order which is correct so once you have all the mods in order and everything that you need perfectly where you're where you have it right which i do have it so let's say right down here the very bottom my last mod should be the uh color filter remove remover so that should be my last mod on this list so once you have everything in order and everything in the right place when you take your time and do it right then you're going to go into the option settings, I believe. No, not the option settings. Sorry. Back it out. You go to the low order archive. Sorry about that. So you click on that, click the button. And then right here, these two are very important. So once you have the low order correctly, the way you want it to be, save this first. So once you've officially done and you have everything in the right spots, right especially the first three mods that are important that you need from the top and you have it in order save it so once you have everything else saved then you just click on here and then click yes you want to save it wait for a couple of minutes it should not take that long and then it's going to say current low order has been saved to bethesda.net so good so the load order is saved everything is all good so i click ok all right, and then we can back this out. Now you can go into your option settings, right? You go into your option settings. Now, this part right here, you don't have to worry about anything else right here. The most important thing is gonna be right here when it says update all install creations. This might happen on a daily basis. The modders might be doing it on the weekend, the weekday. So if you do jump into Starfield like the next day like monday whether you're on xbox you're on pc make sure you go in here you follow these steps okay make sure the low order is correct you save it make sure it is saved and again if you are going to plan on adding in more mods on top of it like if you're downloading another mod make sure you save it in the right low order correction you save it make sure you save it before you update all install creations because if you don't do it then it's going to basically you know get rid of or it's going to uninstall the mod that you are trying to install that is brand new okay it's going to uncheck the box all right and it ain't going to work so make sure if you are going to install any new mods in the creation make sure you install it put it in the right order save that low order and then come in here and do this part which is going to be update all install creations which we're going to click on it you know right are you sure you want to update all your install content yes do this every day every single time because a lot of times nine out of ten that always cause like an issue or a problem something goes wrong a update fail or something like that or even like you know finally like there was a patch for some mod or whatever and you didn't get the memo and then you play in the game and then all of a sudden like why is my why is the mod is crashing like why is it like this it's probably there's an outdated mod that needs to be updated 
and it's just causing a crash or an issue i suggest do it like this first so let it go through all the stuff first it's going to take a bit of time but give it some patience Okay, so once everything has been installed and is reinstalled, did everything what it needs to do, it's going to say this. All creations download is up to date, then we're good. Now we can go back. And now when you look at this, right? And then when we scroll down, right? Because the last time I showed you that the... Uh, color i think it was the color filter remover should be my last mod which you see it right here is not my last mod so these are all the things that got up to date for it so all of this got up to date right here so all of this right and my color filter is all the way up here which is not the right order that i wanted this is why i said before make sure you put it in the right spot so then once this is all up to date and download, then you can go right here to the, uh, whatchamacallit, the low archive. And then you just click on restore low, uh, low order from Bethesda.net. So you do that, right? And it's going to say the current low order will be overwritten. Are you sure? Yes. Boom. So once that's done, now when I go back down here, right? And it should be in the correct order, right? Because the last one that I had installed was that. Which is we go down here, right? There it is. The last mod that I have right here is the color filter remover. So it's going to reload the order that I had before than it, than it was. So which is good. So we fixed that issue. But like, again, just to make sure it's clear to everyone, make sure that if you are installing new mods on here, you install it first, you make sure you you drag it to the location that you want. And if you're happy with it, then you click it right here. Then you go to archive and then you click on here, you save it and then you update it and then you do all your stuff. OK, I just want to make sure that's crystal clear. OK, so now we're going to just restore the load order. Yes. So it should be my last one down here. Just want to make sure it's correct. Yep. Okay. So once this is all set and done, then you can back this out all the way out. And then it's going to tell you this right here, right? The game will now reload your data files, right? Click OK. And then what you do is you're going to quit out of the game. So right here you can do it that way you can quit the game from this way or you can do a hard shutdown which you can go to the key um the window key and then you can just go hover right over to the thing and you can go right here and you can close the window out or you can just go in here and then you can just go to task manager and then the game that you wanted to end task you just you know again right click highlight the one that you want to end task you can end the task then once it ends the task now we can reboot the game and start the game up so we did everything and everything is already set we don't need to go back to the creation mods because we already have everything up to date and everything installed in the right order so now that's all done now we're going to run this as administrator and then like again like i told you before as a tip I'm going to open up the task manager just to have it ready. And then we're going to wait till the game um, boots up. And then we're going to load into the game to make sure that it's going to work properly. So give it time, give it a minute. Did not take that long.
this always take the longest time but again long as it works and it doesn't crash on me then you should not have an issue from here on out because like again i do this every single time before i even play starfield i make sure i go into that creation uh thing and do those steps like i always been doing and i had no issues whatsoever everything was working and runs flawlessly i do that every single time every single day i do it so like if i'm gonna play starfield on monday i'm gonna do the same exact steps okay so right now we got the game running i'm gonna click on here and then i'm gonna go on my task manager right i'm gonna click right here gonna go right here and then we're gonna go to details then we're gonna go right here and then we're going to make sure we run the priority i'm gonna run it on real time or you could put it on high whichever option you want to do is perfectly fine i'm gonna run it on real time because i'm only just running the game so right now i got it on high and then now we can press start now we got the creation is already set we don't need to go into our settings everything is just fine now we can just load the game where we need to load at so i'm going to load it right here which is confirm right if, like again if you're installing new mods make sure you click the yes or no make sure it's correctly make sure you read and take your time if you read it wrong it's going to mess up all of your mods and your low order and everything else and you're going to have to restart the whole thing so and now we are in the game everything works just fine performance wise it should be fine and everything else is good to go so right now right we're gonna go up here boom so yeah it should be able to work just fine and like so far it's been working for me yeah. so all right there you have it right there that is pretty much it and that's pretty much the guide all right and that's about it hopefully this video do help you guys out don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel for more of these videos and until next time i'll see you guys on the next video peace